<laughs> That's what I paid them for, you see. <laughs> but yeah, but actually, just uh, since one year ago or so, then we met the first time, and uh, since then, I think uh, a real band has grown up, you know, so this is really good. This is, of course, uh, it's not a usual thing, you know, but I think it's especially the, the way Victor uh, uh, started to talk to, uh, to us and the, the way, you know, we talk to each other, you know, so, and so seven people is definitely not easy to handle, but it worked out and it still works out and uh, hopefully it will work out for the future as well, of course. <laughs> Ah, quite simple. I, I, uh, I know Michael since a couple of years. I uh, met him on some workshops and find incredible how he can play drums. And uh, also, also a very nice person. Uh, I'm a bass player I know since, since 10 years. He was already a guest bass player on my solo CD, last solo CD. And uh, Jeanette, Hendrik, Barcelona Symphony Orchestra, it's already LMO line up. We work together since three years already. And uh, you know, when you uh, when I start thinking about singers, uh, you have two choice. These guys is the best singers you can find in Germany. So I was happy that I get yes from the guys. So. I have something. Um, I had a fan that wrote to me on a regular basis. Um, I don't want to get into too much detail, but she wrote to me and told me she, she loved me every day. Whether it be email, Facebook, or whatever, which is nice, you know, and you know, she, she'd ask me, when are we going to meet and stuff? And I was like, hey, you know, it's not going to happen. You can't write to me every day and say you love me. You know, I've got a life. You know. Anyway, one day she turned up with this big picture that she painted herself, you know, which is obviously a very nice thing, you know, and um, yeah, I've still got that picture at home. It's not, it doesn't really look like me, but I'm very happy that she did it. You know. There was a lot of crazy press and I met so many nice fans, but one uh, was really a uh, great situation. I was driving race in Sanford, with race car, and I was out on uh, race tires, and uh, was qualified, and I fled out with, with one uh, slicks and race tires, um, and one, well, it was too late already to, to get new one. And I write on Facebook, sorry, I cannot start next day, and fans, bring the tires next morning. I don't know where they get this, they find out some friends, I don't know, so it's great. So to save my race, <laughs> it was very nice, very nice. Some years ago, just uh, um, I had a, uh, a guy coming up, showing up to a show, uh, came to a show, you know, brought me some bottles of wine, three bottles of wine, and he, he, I was so, I was amazing, you know, to, for him. And uh, then we talked, and I invited him to, uh, to uh, get into the bus because I wanted to talk to him. Then our tour manager uh, came and said that I got to do an interview. And then I walked upstairs and I did this interview. And just about 45 minutes later, I just went down. And then this guy sat there in front of three empty bottles and drank the whole wine himself. And he was <laughs> <laughs> that was, that, that was, Thanks for inviting me. You know? <laughs> That was cool. That was my shortest party ever, so. <laughs> <laughs>